So every dog owner has been there. You're scrolling through Amazon, looking at all the toys and trying to decide what's worth it, what's not for your dog. Today, we're gonna be reviewing all of the suggestions that you guys made on our Instagram. Brody and Luna are gonna tell us what they enjoy more. All the way from a free stick that we got from our backyard to a $780 Hermes plushie toy. Does it make a difference? Does more money equal more fun? We're gonna find out today. So the first toy we're testing is a stick. This stick is zero dollars and zero cents, and we found it in the backyard. Let's see if they enjoy this. Let's go play with it, guys. Come on. Lots of interest, lots of interest in the stick. We got lots of interest. Wow, you guys want a stick, huh? So you can do all sorts of things with it. You could tempt them. You could play tug of war with a stick. You could play fetch with a stick. Drop it. Go get it. Wow. They could play tug of war with each other. It's a very versatile toy and it's very cost efficient. You can shred the stick. You could chew on it. There's not too much longevity with a stick, but you have an unlimited supply. The stick did not pass the durability test, but luckily you can get more free very easily. Okay, so the stick was a hit. For price, we're gonna give this a five out of five. Durability, we're gonna give it a one out of five. Fun, whoa. We have to give it a four out of five. They still wanna keep playing with it. But on to our next toy. We're gonna play with the other toys. Let's go, guys. <laughs> They're excited. Next up, we have the flopping fish. This was a really popular suggestion. Multiple people said that we need to try it out for Brody and Luna. You can get this on Amazon for $13.98. A one-star review. Someone said, my cat hated it. I take care of a neighborhood cat and spend ridiculous amounts of money on them. He loves to play and I thought he'd enjoy it, but he just stared out while it flopped around. Well, luckily we're testing it for dogs today and we'll see what they think. Another review. It's great fun, but doesn't last long. A five-star review says, good cat toy. Mine cheap fabric zipper though. And good quality toy, pretty neat. So lots of five-star reviews. Let's see what they think. So you open up the zipper. I charged this up before with a USB. Switch on, zip back up. Wow, what's this guys? What's this? What's this Luna? Let's, let's put it on the floor. Let's wait, wait, sit, wait. Wait, everyone wait. Brody, sit. Wait. Doesn't flop as much as I thought it would. Okay, Luna, you can play with it. You can play with it. Brody's just nibbling on it. Sit, everyone look. Well, Brody seems interested in it, but it doesn't really do much. Luna, you didn't get to play with it there. Luna's just gonna rip it up. That's what she likes to do with toys. We're test now we're doing the durability test. The fish has ceased to keep flopping. This is the most slobbery thing I've ever felt. So floppy fish. At $13.58, I would give this a three out of five stars. Out of durability, I'm gonna say this is gonna last not very long. So probably two stars. <clears throat> and as far as fun goes, they seem to be enjoying it. So we'll give it Okay, we'll give it a four also. All right, on to the next one. Next up, we have the very popular, highly requested lamb chop toy. Has a squeaker, texture's pretty good, and it was $5.04. They love plushies. Luna loves destroying them, Brody loves chewing on them. Let's see some reviews. Whoa, five stars. All of my dogs absolutely love these. Five stars, puppy loves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So all the one star reviews are basically regarding the durability. All the one star reviews are regarding the durability. 
Vince says, 10 inch, not durable, do not recommend. Ricardo says, disappointing durability, plush dog toy didn't last an hour, less than two hours. Everyone's talking about how fast the stuffing comes out. And Luna would tear this thing to shreds in probably 30 minutes. You guys wanna try it out? Let's go. Wow, good catch, Luna. Not interested? Brody's not that interested in it. Brody'd rather chew on leaves. Luna's losing interest too. Not that much fun, Luna. <laughs> All right, lamb chop. Lamb chop, I would give five stars for the pricing. At about $5, it's pretty affordable. Durability, we're gonna go one out of five. Um, it's intact right now, but I know in 30 minutes with Luna on it, it's gone. Fun, we're gonna give this two and a half stars. Brody lost interest pretty quickly, started chewing on leaves. Luna let it out of her sights also. So Lamb Chop, very overhyped product in their opinion. Next. Next, we're reviewing this giant tennis ball. This was also recommended from our Instagram. $13.98 off Amazon. Michaela says, "My five stars. My golden doodle had a blast with this XL tennis ball. Matthew says, 100% approved, five stars from my tennis ball critic and it shows a cute golden retriever. Christina says one star, cute idea, but only lasted three minutes. One star from Keith, doesn't hold air. One star from Austin, piece of junk. Let's find out. You guys wanna fetch a giant tennis ball? Wow, that's a quick review. No one cares about this tennis ball, huh? Well, I mean, the only thing you can really do with a giant tennis ball is play fetch with it, and they don't even seem to want to do that. So, giant tennis ball, price point. It's about $13 to $14. For, for that, I'm gonna give it about three stars for price. Durability, it feels like it would last pretty long. So I don't know, I haven't had it long enough to test out how long it holds air. So for durability, we're gonna say three and a half stars for now. Overall fun, we gotta give it a one. I mean, it's over there, it's untouched. Luna, Brody, not interested. Next up, so we're gonna be doing indoor and outdoor testing. So we're getting all the ones that definitely need to be outdoor, like the tennis ball launcher. Luna, are you supposed to be in there? Come on. Come on. And then for the $800 Hermes toy, which I'm gonna return, um, we're gonna wanna keep this inside in pristine condition and not have Luna's wet paws all over it. Next up is the interactive dog ball. Also, highly recommended. This is $19.99 off Amazon. Some reviews. Julia says, happily surprised. Kristen says, good for price. Valerie says, oh my God, this is so much fun for dogs. All five-star reviews. Some one-star reviews are not good for small dogs. Very hard like a rock. I agree, this is extremely hard and when it hits the floor, it doesn't have any bounce to it. One star, not durable enough for a 15 month old French Bulldog. So people are questioning the durability. Now they seem really interested and she's barking because she wants me to play fetch with her, but once it's in front of them, they kind of are just over it. So it has a few different modes. You can make it go different speeds and it kind of, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. They seem pretty interested in this. For $20, I'll give this three and a half stars. It's pretty cool. Durability, we're gonna give it three and a half stars for now. I can usually see how this could get chewed up and then the mechanism inside could be broken. For fun, three stars. They like it a lot when it's in my hand and then when I throw it, but once it's on the floor jiggling around, they don't really care for it that much. See, they just kind of leave it there. All right, next toy. They're gonna like this one a lot. This next toy, I think is gonna be the most fun for them. This is my prediction. It's also, I'm most interested to see how it works out also. Next up, we have the tennis ball launcher. This is the automatic tennis ball launcher. Five stars from Geta. She's obsessed. Our pup's obsessed with this. Five stars, throws well, just a little bit loud. It's not that loud. Two stars, great, but it can be pretty loud. So people are saying that it's too loud. I don't think it's too loud, so. We switch it on, 
we can turn it max. Okay, well that wasn't a good, let's hope it goes farther than that. Whoa! I don't even think Brody saw it get launched. Bring it back, Luna, bring it back. Kind of unimpressed by the, the distance that one just got. It's at max distance right now also. It beeps when it's, when it's about to shoot. Luna, go get it. So it doesn't launch that far, really. So the automatic tennis ball launcher is $105. I'm disappointed with the range that it shoots it. I could throw it much further with not that much effort. They don't seem to be like really interested. It's just the concept of fetch that they like. Maybe if Luna was trained or Brody was trained to drop it in themselves and then they could just play fetch by themselves, that would be, probably be worth it. For the price, around $105, um, I'm gonna give this a one and a half stars. I don't really think it's worth a hundred something dollars. Oh, for the durability, the durability, it looks like pretty quality. I would give it three and a half stars. And for the fun, I mean, I'll give it four stars for the fun if your dog learns how to put it in. If your dog doesn't understand how it works and can't keep themselves preoccupied, it's probably gonna be a two and a half because it's just you grabbing the ball, dropping it in, and repeat. You might as well throw it. You might as well just throw it. So in case you can't tell by the sweat on my head, it's pretty hot here in South Florida today. So the rest of the toys, we're gonna go inside and review, keep them a little cool, and get a different environment for toy testing. All right, we switched the environment up, we cooled down a little bit. Next up is gonna be the crawling crab. Highly recommended on Instagram. So apparently it avoids obstacles and it crawls around and lights up. This is $15.99 on Amazon. One star from Devin. Beware of the noise. Crawling crab dog toy startles furry friends. Four stars from Michelle. Annoying crabby music. We don't like annoying music, huh, Brody? Two stars, not a dog toy from Griff. Well, let's see. Turn it on right here. Luna, what is it? Agreed on the annoying music part. Luna, not interested in at all. Brody's interested. Brody's intrigued. There's just not much a dog could do with this. Very realistic crab leg movement. Get it, Brody. Get it. Get it. Get it. It gets knocked over pretty easily. And gets stuck pretty easily too. How is it stuck? Okay, that's enough of the crab. Well, my review is agreed. The music is pretty annoying. This is not a really great dog toy. There's just not anything they could do with it. It tips over pretty easy. It got stuck quite a few times. For price, at $15.99, three stars. Durability, I'll say three stars, unless we're including sort of the use durability, which is like how easy it is to knock, get knocked over and kind of becomes useless. Fun, what do you guys think? Two? I'm gonna say two. This is when it's brand new, so it's a new thing, so they're at least a little interested in it but I could see them getting over it pretty quickly. All right, on to the next. <laughs> All right, so we rated it outside. I think this is better for use indoors and they seem to be a lot more entertained when it's indoors rolling around. At $19.99, I say it's a pretty fair price for this. Um, we'll give it three and a half stars. For fun, we're gonna go four and a half stars. I could see them just sitting here for an hour, chasing it around. It's really, it's one of those toys that's really good for self entertainment. So I like that. For ability, this is a really hard ball, so it is loud when it bounces on your floors. If you have neighbors, you live in an apartment, it might be kind of annoying. Um, but as far as durability goes, I would expect it to last pretty long unless Luna gets a hold of it and just starts chewing it up. 
but they both seem to be pretty, pretty interested in this. So, automatic dog ball, would recommend. You guys wanna do the brain toy? It's gonna be hard for you, buddy. Your brain isn't the biggest, but your heart is. You got good heart. You got lots of heart and little brains. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I make fun of you because I love you. Next up, we have the dog puzzle. This is a level two dog puzzle. You can get it for $29.90 off Amazon. Some reviews, excellent quality, fun for my dog, excellent customer service, CD says. Sturdy and fun, five stars. Slows down the gobble, that's what you need. Jessica says, one star, worst purchase ever. Took me longer to figure out how to get the darn thing to work than my dog to be able to use it. I think that's a user issue because that was pretty easy to put the treats in. Needs better suction, Lori says, one star. Not durable, one star. Okay, well, this is definitely a Luna type toy. She's a smart little girl, especially when it comes to figuring out food. So when you press this button, treats get dispensed out into here, and then they have to lift it up. And then they can also move this little switch back and forth to reveal treats. So, Luna, you can use it, go. I'm gonna hold it still for her. I think Brody's gonna sit this one out. He doesn't like the brain games. Luna, press this. Was trying a few different techniques. She's going for brute force currently. She has to be taught to, Luna, hit this, hit this. Ooh. Luna's figured out how to open backpacks to get treats, so I think she could figure out how to lift these little levers. Hit it. Hit it. Luna, look, hit it. There you go, good girl. Look, Luna, look. Luna, look. This is not a Brody dog type toy. Okay, dog puzzle, covered in slobber. Um, I don't know, Brody not interested, this is the least interested Brody's been in any of the toys today. For a dog like Luna, who's extremely food motivated and smart and conniving, this might be a good toy. Okay, so, review. The biggest issue was it was moving around on the floor and it just wouldn't stay still. I just looked in the box and I found their suction cup feet, so that would solve that issue and make it stationary. Um, at $29.90 for price, I'll give this a three. Uh, if Luna had about an hour with this, she would definitely get it down. Um, so for durability, we're gonna give this a five star. This thing feels really solid, as long as she can break this. And for fun, Brody wasn't interested in any sort of brain game puzzle. He just wants to treat, he doesn't want to work for it. Um, and Luna thought it was really fun. Luna thought it was four and a half stars. Brody thought it was zero stars. We'll average it out and we'll say this was three stars fun. Um, just know your dog, if they're super food motivated, they'll probably really enjoy this food puzzle. If they don't really care that much to work for treats, they're not gonna enjoy this one that much. So, on to the finale. All right, and now for the grand finale. This is the Hermes dog toy. It is $670, and then after taxes, another $46.90, so it came out to $716.90. So this is by far the most expensive toy that we're testing today. We're gonna see if more money equals more fun. And, side note, we put Luna in the room for this one because I think I'm gonna be returning this and I don't want Luna to tear up this $700 toy. Brody's much more gentle. You get really cool packaging, so if your dog cares about presentation, uh, five out of five for that. You guys ready to see what the world's most expensive dog toy looks like? The anticipation, Brody, look. Mm, wow, they really... So, for $717, you could get your very own Hermes plush. Very durable, I'll say that. It feels very durable. There's no squeaker in it.
you think, buddy? Worth the money? Worth the money? Is this more fun or is the stick that we found in the backyard more fun? Do you care that this is $717? You don't care, do you? It's expensive, dude. It's the most expensive dog toy money could buy. You don't care, do you? You don't care? You think I'm dumb for buying this one, huh? You want me to return it? I'll return it. You don't gotta tell me twice. I'll return it. Hey, buddy, play with it. Look, it's expensive. So, review. Durability, it is very durable for a plushy toy, um, but Luna would rip this up still. And for this price, I would want something that would last. So for durability, we're gonna give this one and a half stars. For price, I mean, what was it? $717, we're gonna give this a negative five stars for price because that is absolutely insane. $717 for this is disgusting. It's designer, which is what you're paying for. The only place it says Hermes is this little tag on the back. So, uh, fun, this wasn't that fun, huh buddy? Um, we're gonna give it one star for fun also. <clears throat> and it becomes a lot less fun for the owner too, knowing you spent that much and then you have to worry about them chewing it up. So to answer the question, does more money equal more fun when it comes to dog toys? 100% not. Uh, some of the most fun they had were the cheaper toys or the free stick. And just because something has a high price tag, doesn't mean your dog is gonna care for it more. We're planning on doing more videos like this in the future. Let us know what you want us to review next. Leave in the comments below. We hope you can get out, pursue something you're passionate about. It all starts with that first step. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video today, share it with a friend, spread the joy, make them smile too. Bye guys. Luna, get out. We're not going swimming today.